Okay, so this lesson is going to be how to make hot rod flames, which are kind of different than realistic flames, and they're kind of cartoony and kind of follow their own logic. But once you kind of get into the groove of it and learn kind of the how to think about them, and as well as some of the specific settings in Illustrator that will help you draw them, which is key, because we all need help drawing these hot rod flames. Um, they're not that difficult. So, and these hot rod and flame, this lesson is inspired by uh, this Evil Twin Powerlifting Gear logo I did recently. Uh, this lesson will not be about how to draw this guy right here. Um, I will do another lesson involving that, and it's going to be a doozy. Um, it's going to be very long because this is a very complicated drawing, and I use a lot of my favorite techniques to uh, achieve this look. But that's not what this one's going to be about. This one's going to be about hot rod flames. And it's a, you know, it's kind of a specific thing, but, you know, when you need them, you need them. So here's what you need for this lesson. You need a Adobe Illustrator CS. You need a pen tablet. And a bamboo is fine. You don't have to spend a lot of money, but you need a, a decent entry-level pen tablet. I don't recommend trying to do this with a mouse. I can't even imagine trying to do it with a mouse. And you need to have some drawing skills. Not not mad drawing skills, but at least good enough so you have some control over curves and you can make points and things like that. So um, I'll take that down right now and I will start with the hot rod flames. Now one of the things is really important here is you're, we're going to use a pencil tool over here. Uh, and you double click that and I'll show you what my settings are. My settings are my fidelity is 5.5 pixels. And that one's not as important as my smoothness, which is 49%. And the reason you want to have your smoothness pretty high is what that does is it kind of takes out the chatter in your line when you're when you're making these flames. So and it does that by reducing the number of anchor points. The fewer anchor points you have, the smoother your shapes. And it's also much easier to make little corrections and improve the flames a little bit which I'm sure I will uh, because it never comes out exactly perfect and then my options are uh, fill new pencil strokes keep selected and edit offset pass those are all checked and my width is six pixels but that's not really important either so here we go so we're going to use the pencil tool and the way to think of um, hot rod flames is you can think of them as a series of crab claws kind of like stylized crab claws and because that's really what they are. So we're going to start here at the bottom and I'm going to make a little flame that comes out here. And there's going to be my first crab claw. And I'm going to go up and make another crab claw. And I'm going to go make another one here. And one more at the top. And then I'm going to come down here and connect it. So that's not too bad actually. Um, so uh, just for the sake of this lesson, I'm going to show you how to manipulate this a little bit here. So I'm going to zoom in a little closer. And we can look here and um, I might go, well, you know, this one here is a little too thin. And uh, I'm going to grab one of these acre points here. And you do that with your direct selection tool. Don't do it with your selection tool, your direct selection tool. That's the one that's white, the white arrow. And you're going to find these little boxes. You click on them. And you kind of move it. See how they just kind of thicken that up nicely? And then I'm going to move this one here. And that gave me a much nicer looking curve. And I'm going to improve this one a little bit here. Now, each one of these anchor points also has a little uh, handle on it. And it's a little handle. kind of pulls it up and out like that. So I'm going to give that a little bulk there. And I'm going to um, double click and click that here and bring that, give that a little more thickness and I'm going to bring that handle in a little tighter. Now that's a that's a better looking flame. So the way to think about these handles are this actually looks pretty good in here, but I'm going to go ahead just for the sake of this lesson, I'm going to grab this. So see this handle here? See how it does that? Moves it in and out. Think of these handles is think of the anchor point is like the dough, right? This is this is where you can move your dough around like this. See how I just moved it around. And these are like your right and left hands. You know how you knead dough and you, you push in and then you pull out with the other one? You push in, pull out, push in. That's what these do. They kind of pull and push. 
things in. So you can extend it like that. I can pull this one down here. It pulls the dough out a little bit there. Kind of bring it in and that, that makes it look good. And I'll bring that here. So there we go. See, I'm bringing a little more dynamics to the to the flame here. Um, and this looks actually all right here. It's pretty, pretty good. And I want to improve this one a little bit. I want to have this come to more to a point. So I'm grabbing the handle. I'm going to pull the dough in a little bit here. See how sharp that is now? And here, I think I want to pull the dough out, make that a little bit thicker. There we go. So let's go back. And, uh, you know, that's good enough. That's good enough for this lesson. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, go to Pathfinder and I'm going to go to Unite. And that will kind of clean up any stray things that, that I might be hanging around. And I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste that and make two of them. And then I'm going to go up to Object. I'm going to go to Transform and Reflect. And it's set to Vertical. And I'm going to go OK. And it tosses it to the side. Now I'm going to connect them like this, kind of eyeball it, and I'm going to do shift and click to see I have them both. And I'm going to go to my line palette right here. And you have multiple choices here. I'm going to go to the one where we align them a vertical line top. I just want to get them. That yeah, looks good. So and then I'm going to go back to my Pathfinder and I'm going to go to Unite. Pathfinder, Unite. And see how they kind of just merged them all together? So there we go. I have some uh, decent hot rod flames there. Not, not too shabby. Uh, but now here's, here's where the magic happens. Here's where it turns into a cool looking shape into that classic hot rod flame with the multiple pinstripes and the gradients and all that stuff that we love. So I'm going to go ahead and put a gradient down here. And I'm going to, uh, it's a, I, it's, um, I had it already preset, kind of cheat a little bit. I have some, I have some good gradients set up on my swatches palette already. And I'm going to make it go 90 degrees top to bottom. That looks good. So here's where it kind of comes in. We're going to go ahead and we're going to go on your appearance palette Why we have that selected. And we're going to duplicate item. So now we have two fills. They're exactly the same. Um, but this one I'm going to go ahead and make a, a, little, a little darker like that with a different gradient. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my effects. Now you can go to your effects by going to the bottom of your appearance palette and it has a little FX symbol and you go add new effect. Or you can go up to effect on your menu and you can go to path, offset path. Um, we're for this lesson. I'm going to keep it all close together, and I'm just going to stick with the add new effect on. Um, so I'm going to select that layer, my new one there, and I'm going to go to path offset path. Now here's the here's the part you really have to pay attention to. Offset path. If you don't select minus, the paths will just get bigger and bigger, and this will bulk out. But we want the pinstripes to go inward. We want to get this tighter and tighter and tighter because we love this outside shape. We don't want to bulk it out. So you need to put a little minus here. And is that minus? So it's minus 0 0.1389 inches. Uh, the joins are a miter and the, the miter limit's 4. And preview that. There you go. See how it did? I think that's a good, good pinstripe there. So we'll do that. So we got that one, and now we're going to go ahead and duplicate the one we just did. Add the offset pattern. We're going to we're going to um, duplicate that item because it already has an effect on it, right? So, and we're going to go ahead and make this one a little darker. There we go. Let me. There we go. See, I darken it up. But now we're going to click on. We don't have to add a new effect because it already has an effect because we duplicated from the previous. Um, object that already had a path on it. So we're going to double click the offset path and this one we're just going to make it even a little more. We can probably go to like two. Uh, two point, let me see what that looks like. I want something maybe a 2.5. Ah, that's a good one. Okay. And I think we can probably put in one more fill. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that one we just did again. I'm going to go to duplicate item. 
This time I'm going to re just reverse out the color going the opposite way. There we go. And the offset path is 2.5. I'm going to make it 3.5. That's probably good. In preview, there we go. Now we got some cool pinstripes going. So let's look in a little closer here and see what we got. So here we have the multiple, see how the, the offset path, it's gotten smaller each time. Each one got a little, a little, a little, a little deeper. Uh, so I can select this, right? I select it. And if I can take off this one, see how it disappears. And then that one disappears. And that one disappears. So let's put them all back. And there we got our, our all layers there. And, uh, you know, you can change this. You know, this is this is uh, dark on the inside and light on the outside. But uh, we can swap it out. We can make the inside... Uh, we can make the inside by selecting the fill and then going and clicking on the color on the, uh, there we go. So, and then let's make the next one uh, kind of here. Let me do this. We're going to make the next one not quite as dark. There we go. And the next inside one, we're going to reverse it. So there's a little bit of definition. So there you go. There's some cool hot rod flames. Um, I've also done these in blue. Flames don't have to be red. And let's let's make the last one. Let's go ahead and make the last outside one. The original. Let's go ahead and make that a little darker. Let's go a little traditional. Oh, there we go. All right. So there we go. There's easy hot rod flames. Um, the trick is you use the pencil. You want to make sure your smoothness is set around 50%. That will help reduce the amount of anchor points and, and help uh, clean up your lines so they're not so chattery. And you want to use um, your FX. Your, you're going to go with path, offset path. You're going to be using those over and over again. And what you'll be doing each time is make sure it's negative. If you don't put the minus sign before the number, it will just go the opposite way and it will come out really fat and bulky and look kind of lame. So there you go. Enjoy.